Hey there, it's Mr. Brown. So right now we're going to be talking about our calipers. So everyone's been asking for the past two weeks since you picked up your supplies, what is this thing in here? Why do I need it? What is it good for? So these are called calipers. And what they are for is for measuring things. And you might ask, but Mr. Brown, I have a ruler. Can't I measure things with a ruler? Yes and no. There are some things a ruler is good for. There are some things a caliper is good for. Some things a ruler is bad for. Some things a caliper is bad for. And that is what we're going to be going over right now. So right off the bat, these, if you look at your package, they're called vernier calipers. Because uh, there's a guy named Vernier who came up with this one. There are other types as well. Um, so if you look at the screen here, so this one right here is the one that you have. It's the one that we all have. This is, these are vernier calipers. This one right here is also a vernier caliper. It's just made of metal. This one's plastic. These three right here are called dial calipers because it uses a dial to measure it. This one right here is a digital calipers. This one right here, I honestly don't know the name, but it's made of brass. It's a fancy little caliper. They all do the exact same thing. They all give you the exact same answers. You just read them a little bit differently. So the whole point of calipers is to get a good measurement of a three-dimensional object. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this out of the package here. So don't lose this package because you can keep it in here to help prevent you from losing your stuff right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and switch this over right here. All right, so looking at my calipers, you'll notice it looks kind of funny. It's got a little scale right here, some stuff to read it on, a little pointy thing at the end to stab people with, and uh, some little things to grab right there. So what it is for is for measuring objects like this. And there's a couple different ways that we're gonna use this. And so if I'm looking at an object like this, so this Lego right here, I can measure this and I can see with my ruler that this is about one and a quarter inches. I'm sorry, with my calipers, this is one and a quarter inches. Now you can also say, hey, Mr. Brown, can I pull out my ruler? And I can just pull this out and say, hey, that is one and a quarter inches. Yes, it works well for this. But let's say I have A nice pretty bird. I got a picture of a bird right here. I want to say, how tall is this bird? I can pull out my ruler. I can find the top and the bottom, and I can say that that is four and one sixteenth inches. So you can pull out your ruler on this. But now let's say I have an actual three-dimensional object. This bird right here. And if I try to measure this with my ruler, it's kind of like, where do I put my ruler to measure it? Because if I lay it here, it's going to wobble. Do I put it here? Do I put it there? So that's why you have calipers. Calipers are for measuring three-dimensional objects. So I can take this, and I can grab my owl like this, and I can get a really good answer of exactly how tall this is. So for the sake of this class and just kind of in general, Rulers are great for measuring two-dimensional objects that are flat, like something on a piece of paper. Calipers we're going to use for measuring three-dimensional objects, so actual real-life things. So rulers, we've used rulers before. If you have a line on a piece of paper, let's say I want to measure this line right here. I can hold it. Remember, I'm lining it up to the zero line, and I'm reading it, and that is four and three sixteenths inches, or in millimeters, that is lining it up with the zero, 106 millimeters. Right. So something flat on a piece of paper, we use the ruler to measure that. Something three-dimensional, we're gonna use the calipers. So the 
thing I always talk about is the coffee cup. So you've got a coffee cup. I need to know that this lid is going to fit on this bottom, right? If this is too small, it's not going to fit. If it's too small and it doesn't fit and I go to take a sip, it's going to pour hot coffee all over me. If it's too big, it's not going to fit on there and nothing's going to work well. So whoever designed this, you know, whoever made this right here. So this is made out of metal. This is made out of plastic. The same factory did not make both the metal and the plastic parts. It was probably two different factories, so somebody had to design it and measure it out very accurately to say, hey, metal factory, make it this size. Plastic factory, make it this size. That way it's going to give you an accurate dimension that will fit perfectly. Calipers are an excellent tool to do that. So to use the calipers, there's a couple different ways that we're going to use it. So what we, we do is we pull it out and you will read the scale right here. So a couple different ways. One is that you can measure the outside dimension of something and that one you're going to use this bottom part right here. So this will measure the outside. So my coffee cup. I'm going to measure this ring right here. So what you do is you take it, hold this part in your hand back here, this little part sticking out right here, you put your thumb on that so you can slide it up and down. I'm going to find the widest part and I'm going to hold it like that. So I'm holding it in between those two points. Right. So you should be able to hold your object with the calipers if you're doing it, if you're holding it correctly. And then I look at my scale and I see what that is. If I am measuring this block right here, again I want to measure the outside of it from this side to that side. Put it right there just like that. That's going to hold it. If I want to measure the inside of something, so my coffee cup right here, if I want to measure this inside right here, that's where you're going to use this part. So this part that's sticking out right here, you take that and you put it, I'd help if you could see. So I'm going to measure it and pull it until it's tight, just like that. Sorry, this camera's kind of tough to deal with. There we go. So I can measure that diameter right there. Uh, if I wanted to measure on the bottom of my Lego the inside of that, so just like that. So that's giving me the measurement minus the thickness of that plastic right there. Or if I wanted that inside circle right there just like that another one maybe I want to know how deep that hole is right there so I can kind of get like this and I can guess but then I don't know how thick that plastic is can't get that into there so that's where you use this part right here that sticks out so I'm going to stick this part into that hole and measure it. So on the inside it's like that. So again, use your thumb to just bring it down into that hole right there. Boom. And that's going to give me that exact depth of that hole. Now when I look at it, if I open up my caliper to exact, let's open it up to an inch right there. So that's an inch. This distance right here is exactly one inch. This distance right here is exactly one inch. And this distance right here is exactly one inch. So one, two, three will all give me exactly one inch. All right, so let's look at a couple of things to measure. 
So picking up, let's look at our four by two Lego block, right? So we measured that with our ruler before and I got one and a quarter inches, all right? By one, two, three, four, five eighths of an inch. So I got one and one quarter by five eighths of an inch. So that's the size of this block right here. Now, if I wanted to measure it, the depth of that, again, a ruler kind of works, but it, it works pretty well. But what if I wanted to measure it also to the very top of that stud right there. So if I wanted to go from the base all the way to the top of the stud. With a ruler, you're gonna have to kind of hold it up and kind of eyeball it. It's not gonna get too accurate. But that's where calipers come in. And I can go all the way to the bottom, all the way to the top, and I can see that that is one, so that is one, three, four, five, six, seven eighths of an inch, seven sixteenths of an inch. So that is seven sixteenths of an inch tall. So I can add more of my dimensions into there. So when I go to draw it, I can draw it accurately in all three dimensions right there. All right. Don't draw on your desk like that. All right. So next we're going to look at how to read the calipers.